Oh man, where to start? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm here at the house or here on the farm, the homestead, whatever it is you want to call it. And I'm cutting up trees today. Uh, we just had 10 trees. I'll kind of show you the stump areas here. We just had 10 trees cut here off our property. I had several here in the front yard. I had several in the backyard. And we asked a tree company to kind of just pile them up in one area and that I would get them cut up and split. And if you don't know much about us, we burn a lot of wood here. If you look up there on top of my house, you'll see there's a chimney. Well, that chimney actually feeds, uh, or there's two fireplaces that feed that chimney. And then there's another chimney on the back of my house where we got a cooking wood stove that me and my wife, we burn a ton of wood every year. And it's just a homestead type uh, ranch here, if you will. We've got about 50 acres here on the farm. And so this is just something that is normal for us. We, we usually have to cut up a lot of trees, typically not this many in a year, but we've got a ton here that we've got to get it cut up. And I've even got some over there in the fence line that I've got to get cut up too. Um, but what is the purpose of this video and how does it apply to you as a diver? Well, it's simple. We're preparing for winter right now. And it's something that we have to do every single year. We come out late fall, early winter, and we cut trees. And if there's a couple of dead trees, we'll go ahead and cut them down. Or if there's some that's already fell, we'll cut them up, get them split, get that wood stacked up. Now, unfortunately, even if we cut it down and split it, we can't necessarily start burning that wood. You see, it's still pretty green, and we typically have to let it dry out. So when I prepare for winter, I'm preparing for multiple winters in the future. So like all these trees here, that'll get me by probably two or three winters. But it's probably gonna take at least two winters to get all this uh, wood dried out for me. So thankfully I've prepared, if you will, and I've got enough wood to burn this winter and next winter and so forth and so on. But as you can see, being prepared is really gonna come in and, help and be helpful for us as a family during the winter time. Well, how does that apply to you as a diver? Well, in short, you need to be prepared. Doesn't matter if you're going to make a dive, you need to be prepared. Make sure you're trained for it. Make sure you got the right equipment for it. If maybe you are a certified diver and you're taking a course that you've never taken before, make sure you're prepared. If there's a swim test that you gotta perform, get out there and go swim before you have to perform the swim test to make sure that you can do it. If there are certain skill sets that you're gonna have to complete, maybe you're taking a technical course and you still don't have your buoyancy just spot on, then I would suggest getting out there and diving and working on your buoyancy techniques just so that you will be prepared for the course. Once again, if there's a dive that you're going on, say mid to late winter, and it's a tropical dive off somewhere, you need to make sure, well, if you've not dove in a while, you might want to do a refresher. You might want to take your gear in to get it serviced before you go, say, off to another country where there may not be a gear technician. But that's the point. You need to be prepared for your dives. You need to be prepared for whatever training you're taking and just be prepared in general. And just like this is something that I have to do every single year, this is something you need to do every single year. Be prepared. Practice, train, and get out there and learn. You know, if you take a course nowadays, most, most dive courses have digital training. That means you don't really have hard books anymore. Everything is digital. And with the SSI system, of course, you get to keep those digital manuals forever. They'll never go away from you. So that's something that you can do to prepare as well. Read the manuals over and over and over until this stuff becomes second nature. You know, even as an instructor, I have to stay prepared 
for the courses that I teach. You know, one of the courses that I'm not too fond of is the SSI photo and video class. It's just not something I'm, I'm big on teaching. We have a professional photographer that teaches for us at Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina, and he loves teaching that. But you know what I actually do? Even though I'm a photo video instructor, Every time he teaches that course, I will sit in and audit it. Yes, even as an instructor trainer, I still audit recreational scuba courses that other instructors teach just so that I can be prepared in the future in case I have to teach that class. And somebody may say, but Brian, if he's the instructor, why do you teach it? Well, in short, he's got another full-time job. He may not be available, and that student may request me. So for me to be prepared as an instructor, I like to sit in and audit his courses just to make me better prepared as an instructor to teach the course when the time comes but that's the message I want you guys to get from this video always be prepared no matter the situation be prepared and it doesn't take much you don't have to get out here with the chainsaw and cut a bunch of trees to go make a rescue dive you don't have to cut a bunch of trees to go make a deep dive but what you do need to do is make sure you're properly equipped just like I probably couldn't do this with a handsaw I need a chainsaw so make sure you got the proper equipment for the dives that you're going to be making. Make sure you got proper training for the dives that you're going to be making. And make sure you're in the right mindset. If something is off that day, just like today, my arms are killing me. I don't think I'm actually going to continue the rest of the day. I'm going to go ahead and rest. If you need to take a day off from diving, by all means, take a day off. Be prepared for your next dive. But guys, I really hope you understood the message here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it puts you in the right mindset to keep you safe as a diver. If you did enjoy the video, give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below uh, what you thought about the video and how do you actually prepare. If you're the type of diver that only dives in the summertime, what do you do in the wintertime to prepare yourself for spring and summer diving? And just drop me a comment down below and that way I can learn from you guys just like I hope you learn from me. But that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and get in, wait for my wife to get off work. We're going to start us fire, cook us a nice dinner tonight, and just enjoy the time as a family. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.